All right, Raft Gang, so we have a lot of remotes. If you got a lot of remotes, such as an AVR receiver remote, you got a HDMI switcher remote, you got a TV remote, you got other streaming box remotes, and then you got another TV remote, and then you got an AVR there, and all this stuff, let's make it all simpler. With the Sofa Baton X1 Smart Remote. Let's see how it works. What's up, Raf Gang? It's Raf. We're back. He's back in the Raf Cave, and I got a remote control to show you guys. This is the Sofa Baton X1 Smart Remote. Uh, this was sent me to show you guys that this is a really good alternative to, say, like a Harmony remote or a, a really high-end, expensive, multifaceted remote that you can get. This is a very affordable smart remote that works on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and IR. So it's able to cover a wide variety of your devices at home, home theater, desk area, TV area, living room, what have you, game room, all that stuff. This has over 50, 60,000 devices that you can control. Pretty sweet. It's got a little hub right here that has an infrared sensor. It just flashes everywhere and the remote control is just fantastic. You can put it behind your head and it still works. Lights up. It's got some great features. Let's look at the web page and then we'll just do, unbox it. I'm going to program and hopefully it works in my raft cave. Let's check it out. All right. So this is the remote here. It looks real slick. It's got a nice little interface to it. It looks really nice. Minimal buttons. You know, it's, it's a pain in the butt seeing all those number buttons on your remote, right? And this one's backlit. So it lights up in the dark, which is very important, uh, especially their movie movie watching fans out there um yeah it's got a main hub here that you put uh in the main area of your of your 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 like say your shelf your entertainment center your 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 your, 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 your tv stand or whatnot put it in there and it sends out infrared uh flashes everywhere it also comes with these little uh little uh, flashers that you can put in front of specific devices that might be out of reach we'll see how that works but yeah remote control looks really great uh, let's get some other pictures here now it's going to control a wide variety of devices, uh, you name it, you know, over 50,000 devices, just put it in and they'll find it. Uh, and also there's a way to learn off your original remote onto the, the sofa baton, just in case it doesn't have those commands, which is really great. But yeah, you'd be able to do a program one button activity. So say watch a, watch TV, you can program it to turn on uh, your streaming device, your TV, your sound bar or home theater, all of one press of a button. And that's all customizable in the app that you download that's free and you can customize the remote through that when you look at the app sky's the limit you do exactly what you want it to do you tell it what you want it to do download more stuff change stuff label stuff program buttons you name it learn everything's in the app very easy interface with the simple app yep there's the infrared sig signal coming from the device itself and uh, it also has the uh the smart voice control that works with the uh, Alexa. So speaking to it, does the commands, very cool. Nice little scroll wheel, so it's easy to navigate the uh, little LED screen there, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, of course, you have your lost remote button. Beep the remote if it's in, in the, between the couch cushions or underneath the couch or whatnot or your bed. You'll find it no matter what, which is really nice. All right, well, let's get this unboxed and I'm going to program it with the, uh, the various devices I have in my little area and then hopefully it all works out well and easily and i'll let you know let's get it all right guys here's the box here one thing i'm gonna point out is the uh, battery life is pretty incredible over two months of battery life and it's fully rechargeable which is great for USB C. all right guys you know what time it is black pin all right get this box open here Open up gifts early. Christmas a week away. Oh man, what a great Christmas gift. Nice. Codes to download the uh, app on iOS and Android, which is great. All right, guys, when you open the box, here you go. You have the instruction manual here. And ooh, what a sweet looking remote, guys. Look at that shiny, nice, clean remote. Bam. Feels good in the hand, too. All right. Good weight. Clicky buttons. And it already has batteries life built in. Holy moly. Comes with a charge, which is awesome. Setting up the hub. And here you go, guys. All laid out. 
You have your USB-C charging cord, AC adapter, and two of those IR flasher cords there to go to your specific devices that might be out of reach. And of course the brains, which is the hub here. Ideally you want to keep this out in the open a little bit so it's in range or in view of your IR devices. I'm sure it bounces off the walls and stuff, which is nice too. So yeah, this has got uh, USB-C in the back. It's got your little ports there for the IR blasters there. USB-C, USB-C, and then there is your, your flashers there. Nice to give you two per cable. So they give you three total. Three total, guys. A single one and a double one. I'd say probably a good six to eight feet. About six feet. Five, six feet. Then your AC brick here with your standard five volt. Yep, pretty standard. And then the USB in the bottom of the remote there to charge. Bam. All right, guys, so what do I do now? I'm gonna download the app plug in the devices and then pair the app and then add my devices to the app so my remote can control all the stuff and I'm going to find a good spot for this hub to be out where it can get to all my devices in range and hopefully it all works out well I see you in a little bit all right guys now with the sofa baton x1 smart remote I have cleared out the remotes installed the hub now, if for some reason the infrared blast that comes out of this thing doesn't reach your device, you can use one of those IR flashers that come with the box. I'm using the single one. There's also a dual one that comes with it. And you just run it right behind. Plug it in. And that lets me control this particular box that for some reason doesn't pick up the flashes from this. So that's a really cool way to uh, you know, get your specific device that's in a cabinet or far away. Um, to to command it. It's really cool. And now we have the remote PC streaming. Select. TV on. Other TV on. Right to PC. All of my activities. Awesome. And what's great about this little guy here is it sends out infrared commands all over the room. So it hits the LG, it hits the TCL, and changes the inputs to the appropriate commands. This is great. So let's talk about this remote a little bit and the app that we use to set it up. Let's go. Alright guys, so what you want to do first is download the Sofa Baton app on your iOS or Android. Go ahead and select that. And then it's going to ask you what kind of hub you have. So you go ahead and, and do that. Add it with the Bluetooth. And then you get your Wi-Fi set up going. And then it's configured. So then you can add your devices. Now what I have is my TCL TV, LG TV, Denon receiver, PS5, streaming boxes, and an HDMI switch. So it's really easy to add a device. All you do is press the plus, And if your device is infrared, you select that. If your de device works off Bluetooth, you select that. And then there's only a couple things that use Wi-Fi, like a Roku stick or something, Sonos, Philips Hue. But basically, for most of my things, you know, it's going to be infrared. So you select infrared, and you can either and you can either search for the model number or the model of it. And you got popular brands here, you know, or you can go by search. You just type in what you're looking for. So once you get that, or you can say, I can't find it, you know. So once you do that, there's already pre-programmed codes in the database that, that usually are close or exactly the what you device you have. Or you can go to learning, and then you can select the device that you're trying to learn. And then if you have the original remote, you can actually point it at the hub and learn off of that remote and translate it to the new remote. So it's really easy to do that. So once you add all your devices, then you know I have my devices here 
and for instance like say my TCL TV you select that and you have your own remote here or you have the or you have the remote on your phone or you have the real remote of course and all these things will translate to here because this, the hub that syncs with this translates it right to the remote which is great um, so if there's something on here that is not working right it's really easy to edit hit the edit button you can add or repair commands assign uh, commands for the remote keys which are going to be these remotes right these buttons right here you can program any one of these buttons to do whatever you want okay so that's really easy to do um, adjust the power settings configuration of it uh, reset the IP if you want to delete the vice right so that's really easy to do and you can rename it of course now once you have all your devices set up right then you go to activities so for me um, so say my PC stuff if I'm streaming um, I have my both my TVs turn on at the right input which is great if it's just the PC only it's one TV for PC I have surround here because I have a home theater system so if I want to have like all my speakers going I have an activity for that or if I just want the TV speakers going I have this so if you have a sound bar you can do you know sound bar or just TV if you want and then you can just add in your activities of what uh, devices you have so if I'm just watch TV or watch surround sound LG you know it's really cool so say for my uh, so if you want to add an activity You select one of your devices that you're going to do. We'll just say T TCL TV and uh, and my, st my streaming box. Now I have an HDMI switch because I have an HDMI selector so I can switch between 1, 2, and 3. Um, we'll just take that off for now. So I just want to use my TV and my streaming device. So I hit next. And then you say what source or what input is your TV going to be on? So I have my device going through my receiver so I pick receiver and then um, you don't have to switch the input there you just hit next and then you go into your um, your settings of your devices and make sure they're turned on and then once they're both on you hit next and then you can decide on um, which one is doing the volume is the, the streaming box doing the volume or your TV so I'm gonna go TV hit next you can assign which which uh, controller you want to do um, besides volume like up down all that stuff well of course you're going to do the streaming device you hit next and you can name the activity you're making and you can change the icon of what you're doing so once you do that you hit complete and you'll be and you'll have an activity created and you keep doing that as many times as you want for as many activities as you want and if you have like um, you know Philips Hue lights you can add lights in there to go dim or bright um, you could do all kinds of stuff now when you when you get all that done it automatically will sync to your remote control now this remote's really nice feels comfortable buttons are clicky you can assign any one of these buttons to do whatever you want and of course I saved it for the video guys yeah so right now I'm in PC streaming so when I at the beginning of the video I hit that button it turned down my TCL turned down my LG and put them both on the right input for my PC um, PC only is going to be just my TV and and computer um, now in order to scroll the screen you got to use this little wheel right here Yeah, that little wheel goes down and anything on the app translates right to the remote and it's all uh, lit uh, buttons which is great and there's a timer in here where it turns off after a certain amount of time you can uh, shorten it or delay it or um, lengthen it and then you can do firmware updates on here uh, all kinds of good stuff what's really great about this remote is you don't have to point it at devices you can just press the button and point it at the ground if you want and it's still gonna work because that that control box sends the infrared signals and it's also Bluetooth so it works within 30 feet which is great uh, but so far so good there's only one thing I really wish that you, they, they could do with this and hopefully you guys um, can see that so um, so for instance an activity so say say if I'm going PC only so if I want to add a command right 
I go to edit and then I assign commands or I'm sorry, startup settings. So if I want to add a command during the startup, like say I want to add a command and device, it only lets me select from the device that I originally created the activity with. I really wish they would have all my devices here no matter what. Because if I want to change inputs on my receiver because my PC is going through my receiver, I want to see Denon AVR right here. So hopefully they can patch that and give me all my devices no matter what I am um, adding a command from. So add a command, give me all my devices that I've hooked up. So that's what I want to change. Otherwise, that's the only nitpick I have right now on the remote. You have your master off here. It turns off everything. Um, so it's really great. You can use the app to really fine tune everything. But the remote control will give you all that as well. So if you hit this back button right here, um, you can go down to uh, devices, select it. And I can go to my Denon AVR. There we go. <clears throat> so now I can go into all the buttons on my Denon uh, device. And any one of these buttons here, I can select. All right? So you can go into the actual devices, any one of your devices, and go to it specifically. Otherwise, just go back, activities, change your activities. Really, really cool. So I'll give you a little example. I'll change the camera and I can show you what you can do with it. All right, guys, so now a demonstration of the remote in action. So right now I'm on PC only, which is monitor one and the PC. So let's say I want to play Xbox. So I go to my activities and say Xbox Series X only. Select that. Now what it's doing is it's telling the hub to send a command to the TV to switch it. All right, so we're on Xbox Series X only. So what happened was it didn't change, right? Because my Xbox is going through my Denon AVR. And since I'm just saying Xbox Series X only, it doesn't it doesn't know that the, the receiver has to change inputs. So that's the thing I want uh, Sofa Baton to do is add all the devices under add a command. So now what I gotta do is I gotta go back, go down to devices, go to Denon AVR, and I have to manually go to my input and look for HDMI Xbox, right there. Select. So now it's telling my AVR to switch to Xbox, which gives me my Xbox. So it'd be really nice if I could uh, add a command to the activities of a device not originally set for that activity. So now I have to add a, com add a command to switch that Denon. So that gives you an idea of, um, of activity. So say I want to I I play a PlayStation now. So we go to activities and I want to go PS5 only. Select. So right since I have my receiver hooked up, it's not changing the command. So what I got to do is I got to go back, devices, Denon, and go to HDMI PlayStation or input PlayStation. There you go. Input PS5, boom. And then you'll see PlayStation. There you are. So very cool. Very cool. Um, yeah. So I like this remote a lot. It saves my desk of all those remotes. And it's really cool having this little hub here to flash the infrared sensors everywhere. And the remote control, you don't have to point at your devices. Everything's working off the hub there. So, and uh, it's pretty neat. So I will say this is a really cool device. Guys, there'll be a link in the description below if you want to pick yourself up one. It's the, 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 the Harmony replacement, you know what I mean? So get this remote to, uh, to cure all your remote needs. Sofa Baton, guys. Check it out. It's awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Home Theater Rules. Wrap out. See ya.